what you see behind me appears to be a police barrier. But there is something interesting happening here, igniting the spirit of communal labor. Residents of Mansoa Chudia could not wait any longer. Their patience has run out. That is why they are getting involved in the road repairs. The road in this town is very poor. There are many potholes on it. In fact, we agreed with the committee to accept contributions from men to buy cement whilst we make an announcement urging women to carry stones and sand so that we could improve the road. Led by the assembly member, Ambonsa Dako, they woke up early and breathed the morning sun to refill potholes with cement and sand. He realized every time it rains, it washes the sand we filled in the potholes. So we decided to add stones and cement to form a concrete. This keeps longer than normal, although it does not correspond to the one tied with holes. When you go to high school, there were a lot of potholes out there that caused a motorcycle accident leading to death. So we mobilized the communal work to repair it with concrete. For two years, this road is always in good condition. The road was constructed some time back, but soon potholes are back on the road. Motorists have had several accidents, resulting in death and injuries. Residents are fixing the potholes to end the loss of lives. Many accidents have happened in my presence. I have witnessed no fewer than three accidents. There was a man called Kofi. There were two of them on the bike. Both died. In another incident, there were three people on the motorcycle. Two survived, and died on sight. Recently, a motorcycle landed in that gutter. One of them broke his leg. So it is a really big problem. I've seen a lot of road accidents here. The car heads were hit. And recently held the motorcycle that fell into that gutter. Some of them veered off the road. So this part of the road is very dangerous. I advocate that they set up a road sign that will help guide road users. In the spirit of communal labor, they have raised 700 cities for construction materials. All hands are on deck to fix the road with pride. A short-term barrier has been put in place to solicit support for motorists. This is not the first time the residents are embarking on such an exercise. They have fixed potholes in the past. If the government has not come to our aid, that does not mean we have to sit on the sidelines to make things worse. We are therefore making efforts. We hope the government will come to our aid. With no hope of government support, the residents of Manso Atridia are committed to ending the frequent road crashes and providing briefing space for passengers. A report by Mohamed Nuruddin.